Mr. Mint and I are going on a tour of a couple sweet shops in Omaha to celebrate Candyland weekend. Our first stop is E. Creamery. We will get to meet Abby, who is co-owner of the store. There were so many flavors of ice cream and cold treats, we asked Abby how they make their ice cream. So every day we uh, take our ice cream base and we flavor it with whatever flavors that we're making that day. So for sea salt caramel, we take our ice cream base and we add caramel flavoring and sea salt and we make it the most beautiful, wonderful tasting caramel ice cream. And then we salt it. And so it, it has that wonderful salt flavor to it. Everything looked so good. Abby even created the perfect Candyland blend of ice cream. So this is a unicorn cupcake flavored ice cream. And we're gonna add a few different things to it, but the first thing we're going to add are sprinkles. And you know what goes really well with sprinkles we've found when we're on our adventure to find the sweetest candy ice cream are nerds. That way you got the sweet and the sour. And some gummy bears on top. It's almost like you're in Candyland. We should put some sprinkles in this too. It's colorful and sweet, just like Candyland. Abby, how much ice cream do you make? We make at least three gallons at a time of ice cream in this store. So what is the difference between ice cream, sorbet, and gelato? Well, that's a great question. So sorbet is water-based, so it has no dairy in it. So that's the difference there. That tends to be a lot of different fruit flavors. And the difference between ice cream and gelato is that Gelato is served at a warmer temperature than ice cream. So when it hits your, your flavor palette, when it hits your tongue, you can taste a lot more flavors. It's not that ice cold shock. That's one difference. The second di difference is it has less butter fat in it, gelato does, than traditional American ice cream. Ooh, well, ice cream is my favorite, and I was wondering what is your favorite ice cream combination that we have here. I love chocolate and Oreo cookies. Once the unicorn cupcake creation was complete, Mr. Mint and I got to try it. We just had one more question for Abby. Have you ever played Candyland? <laughs> I've certainly played Candyland and I know uh, and all of the uh, characters are so fun, especially you, Queen oh, Rusty. <laughs> well, thank you. Yeah. After our ice cream stop, we went to the Old Market Candy Shop to taste some chocolates. Our friend Mike is the current owner. This shop has been baking treats since 1977. The chocolate looked so yummy. Well, I was wondering, what makes your candy shop special? Well, since we make our own chocolate here, we make our own fudge here, uh, most of the chocolate you see here, we make right here. It's not just chocolate in the store. There are buckets of taffy and an entire wall of jelly beans. I was wondering, what is your favorite creation that you make here? You know, I think uh, the mud ball is one of them and the chicken leg. Those are our two top sellers. The mud ball is Oreo cookies grown up super fine. We add cream cheese to it, roll, roll that into a ball, dip it in chocolate. Chicken leg, that's a pretzel rod dipped in caramel, rolled in crushed almonds, then dipped in chocolate. Those are our two biggest sellers and it was probably, I think, probably mine. And yet again, our turtles are pretty nice too. How do you make fudge? <laughs> fudge, we have a big kettle back here, you'll see right there. That machine will pump out 33 pounds of fudge for a full batch. Wow. Once the fudge fudge is butter, the chocolate and stuff like that, all mixed together, you got the time exactly right. It's constant rotation on it, keeps it from being grainy and stuff. Once we make the fudge, you pour it out, you add your nuts, your caramels, whatever else you're gonna be doing. And we carry about 18 different kinds of fudge. We'll make a batch of vanilla fudge. There you can color it, flavor it, pour it into a tray. Let it sit overnight, the next day you 
cutting it up and uh, setting it out there. Who's your favorite character from Candyland? Is it me? <laughs> it's you! <laughs> yeah. It was a fun game. I used, I used to love that game. Now he owns a candy store. With all of the sweet treats we've tried today, Mr. Mint and I got a sugar rush and we needed to dance it out. We had so much fun exploring. Now it's time to go play a game with our friends. Maybe you can play a game too. We'll see you later, everyone.